Oh, well too early. Gonna need you. You know it's far too early to be working when the sun's not even up. Good morning and welcome into the video. As you can see, at work, four o'clock in the morning, start. Good thing about starting so early, there's no traffic on the roads and you go see a glorious sunshine a little bit later on when that comes up. Fill up the wee beast. Now, the reason why I'm in so early is because I've got a 10 a.m. booking in Maidstone. We're at Warrington. It's about a five-hour drive. So we're cutting it really fine, but I'll be honest with you, I don't think we're going to make it because we're kind of starting a little bit too late to get to Maidstone for 10 o'clock. However, I couldn't start any earlier because I didn't finish work last night until half past six. So legally, I couldn't start until half past three because of the working time direct. Four o'clock is pretty much the closest time I can legally start without pushing it too much. But not to worry too much though, because I believe the booking that we're at for 10 a.m. is a little bit flexible. So as long as it's there before say two o'clock, we should be good. I don't know who keeps doing it, but it's really annoying. So these lines should be put up there. When they get dropped on a deck, they can fall down and get trapped in the prop shaft. They get covered in grease off here and it's a nightmare. So if you're a driver, stick them in the proper place. Trailer checks are all done, vehicle checks are all done. Let's hit the road. 254 miles away, five hours drive. Sat now saying we'll get there for 10 o'clock. However, that's not including traffic around Birmingham and around the M25 only in the M1. So we've got a lot of odds against us right now. And plus we need to take a 45 minute break because of the driving period. Because we can all drive four and a half hours. So the earliest we can hope for is an 11 o'clock arrival. With traffic included, you're probably gonna be looking about half 12, 12 o'clock. Hopefully half 11 though. Well, you can tell you're coming towards Birmingham, can't you? As soon as traffic starts building up and if it starts going really, really slow. It's quarter to seven now in the morning. Left the yard at about quarter to five. We had no traffic whatsoever. Nice and 54 miles an hour all the way down here. As soon as we come to the Hilton services at Birmingham, it just grinds to a halt. It, I don't know why it's always around there. There's no accidents or anything, but it's always around the same area of Hilton services And we've still got a hundred and sixty eight miles to go Still due to get there at quarter past ten With the break on top you're looking at about eleven o'clock realistically Do you know what? Not a bad idea that bud. Let's get into that left lane. Actually, I think the left lane is for Wensbury only, isn't it? <laughs> Let me try to switch it back. If I remember correctly. Yeah, let's try and switch it back over. If I can get back out. Yeah, I thought it was. Thank you so much, mate. Switch back into the middle lane. Everybody let us out. Been let out as well. Cheers, bud. See yourself in the mirror. Cheers. I forgot to mention the route we're taking for today. So we've left Warrington, we jumped on the M6, we're going straight down the M6, go connect onto the M1 after we get past Birmingham, and then down the M1 onto the M25, and then the Ring Road going over the Dartford Bridge, and then I think it's the, is it the M2? Can't remember off the top of my head, which then takes you from the M25 towards Kent area. 
So it's Maidstone that we're going for our final destination. Could be taking a break. Um, hopefully we can make it to Toddington Services. They're not too bad, them service stations. It's not the best for parking up, but inside it's got everything you need. Toilets are all quite clean as well, which is always a good bonus. So yeah, Toddington is going to be our destination for a 45 minute break. Taking a 45 minute break, that'll clear our driving time as well as our working time directive. So we can hit straight down then to Maidstone. Get tipped, I'll probably take a 15 minute break before leaving Maidstone to make it on the way back. And then if we need to extend our driving hours a little bit more for an extra hour, I'll then stick it on a 30 minute break, a little bit further on the road. Not too sure how far I'm going to make it back though, but we'll be staying out tonight. So I've got all my bag and everything in the back. And yeah, we're camping out for the night. I don't mind it too much. Hopefully there's no refrigerator units next to us or anything, because that makes a big difference. It really does. Twenty-two miles an hour. Come on, that's quite good going. That going through Birmingham. Just need to try and keep to the right. Splits up here. I think you go towards the M40 and the M5. On the left hand side, we're carrying on down towards Spaghetti Junction. With the traffic as well in Birmingham, it's probably going to give us a little bit of a more of a delay when we hit the M1 and the M25 because it's going to be a little bit later. Hopefully, we're after the break at Tonnington, we might miss that little bit of rush hour on the M25. That's what I'm hoping for, so it'll be a little bit more smoother for us. Yeah, we've still got a long way to go, haven't we? Oh, the tire has just gone and it's shredded. You see it all over the floor? That's just shredded. Well, not to lose that trailer, just finished taking our second break for the 30 minutes the time is now quarter to 10 still got until half past 11 ETA 83 miles we're at Toddington services on M1 so we've still got the M25 to go so fingers crossed it's not too bad eh? side of the motorway there's a massive convoy of black taxis with orange balloons on um, I'm hoping it's not somebody with just oil but there's loads of them I wonder what that's about is it a protest against ULES or something but there's, there's still more coming on the motorway at the moment on the M25 ring road I've probably seen about 30 of them. And they're still coming on over there. And further down, oh my god, it's like 50 cars. All with big orange balloons on. It's a little bit weird. Don't know what that was about. I'm gonna have to check TikTok or social media a little bit later on to have a gander. Still on the M25. Why is this guy going so bloody slow actually? I'm doing 40 miles per hour. What the hell dude? 34, 30, what? Great, now I can't pick my speed up now. What a knob. Probably on his phone or something. As I 
as I was saying before we got really interrupted by the taxi in front doing 35 miles per hour on 50. Damn you, I can't even get the speed up. So we're here now at the Dartford Crossing. Man, that was hard work to try and get that bit out, wasn't it? Due to get there for 25 past 11. That makes us an hour and a half late for our booking time. I've rang the office earlier on, I don't know why you're breaking again, mate, you only do 40. Jesus. Swerving all over. Swerving all over again. Oh, no. What the hell is going on with people here? Why is he swerving around so much, that taxi driver? And why did that van just cut the crap out of it? Let's give him a little bit of a toot then, just to knock him back in his lane. He's pretty close to swerving into my lane then. My word, some people just cannot drive. And this is why I leave this camera on recording when I do any long journeys. I'll put it on at services and then just keep it recording for an hour or so. 22 miles away from our destination and I said this morning I was going to be running a little bit late and I did predict around half past 11 arrival time because of our break coming into it and then Birmingham was put us back about 40 minutes as well. M25 has been good to us so far, it's a little bit busy on the other side, same with the M1, southbound has not been too bad, it's been alright so far, all the traffic for us. Some people just don't check the mirrors doing it before they move away. Or they're just too focused on phones or messing about with the other stuff, swerving around all over the road. Dangerous as hell, it really is. People sitting there on the mobile phones, that is probably my biggest gripe for the drivers. No need for it, especially when they're blatantly on the phones where you can just see them holding up to the side of the face. So three miles away coming up. Where do we start? Where do we start? Got here for 11 o'clock. Not too bad considering. But because we're out of the hour window, or the half hour window, what it was, because it's a 10 o'clock booking, it's been refused. I've drove 253 miles for the whole load to be refused. Ah, oh, crap. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if I'm going to have to stay out around Maidstone, try and find somewhere for the night. Uh, but it's, it's 11 o'clock in the morning. And try and get rebooked in for tomorrow or just drive back as much as I can and then sleep out on the services somewhere. Don't know, I don't know. So I'm gonna have to give, make a quick phone call to the depot and see what they want me to do with this. Just spoke into the office and it seems like they can't do it today. So I've got to drop the trailer off in our, one of our other depots in St. Neots. Um, that's 100 miles from where we are now. So it's back on the M25 up the A1, it's just off there. So half past two we're due to get there for. On the way up to Maidstone as well, I noticed there's a lot of traffic built up on the other side. There's been an accident and a lane closure on the M20, I think it was. I could be completely wrong, but I can't remember what motor I've just come on. <laughs> but what I'm doing, I'm going down the A229, connecting to the M2, and it'll bring us off a little bit more towards the Dartford Tunnel. 
so we don't have to sit in the traffic for as long. I'm hoping nobody else does this route, which I think everybody else needs to be diverting this way. I suppose that's one of the good things about driving around Kent. If there's any accidents on one of the motorways, for example the M20, we can divert to the M2. Not too bad, is it? It's always a little short diversion. There's nothing going out of your way for it. There's always another motorway, isn't it? Yeah. It kind of paid off coming this way, down the M2 to the A2. However, big, big however, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but right in the distance, you can see a massive queue to get onto the M25 to go towards the Dartford Tunnel. I don't think I've really seen it this bad before, personally. And you got a car there trying to cut into this lane, slamming the brakes on it again in front of the truck, the one that was beeping its horn, quite rightly as well, because that would be quite frustrating if an accident happens and it's not your fault. Yeah, them, them trucks are going right around there, aren't they? There's a bit of a queue. If this is this busy at half past one, I'd hate to be here at five o'clock when it's proper rush hour. Oh my word. From the last clip, it's probably been about half hour or so just to get across that bit of the bridge. Uh, I need to be in the left lane. Yeah, I can only be in seven and a half ton in that lane. So it just told me though. Got Volsa there on the left hand side. Got a massive depot here. So if you ever drive through here, just make sure you've got everything covered. Like you're strapped up, everything's all checked. So what's the charge? Six pound. That's not too bad actually for a truck. If you think the amount of money they must make off this, it's six pound per truck and three pound per car. It's got to be at least a thousand cars a day coming through here, isn't there? There we go. Hold your breath. Did you ever used to do that as a kid when you go underneath tunnels or bridges so you can hold your breath? <laughs> I think this tunnel's a little bit long to be doing that. Just stopped off at the services on the A1. I'm not sure too sure what they're called, but it's the big one, the big truck service ones. Um, doesn't look the best place, and it's really, really expensive. It's like 50 odd pounds, or 47 pound, I think it is, for a truck for one night. My word, normally it's like 32 quid. So I've stopped over. Um, I've had a 30 minute break just to finish off my last part of the break so we can extend the driving hours just that little bit more and also time to crack up in this bad boy because i'm absolutely knackered at the moment i've still got quite a bit of time to go 41 miles and one hour until we get to st neat's depot and then i'm going to try and drive another hour northbound i'll probably take a break somewhere for the night probably on the a14 or might get to rugby services at a push Depends on traffic again for that one really, does it? But I'm gonna try my best for it. Checked up, because it was doing my heading. South Mims services, that's where we're at. So just there now at our St. Neat's depot. Our load is getting transferred into another trailer so they can deliver it for 8 p.m. tonight. And then we've got about an hour and a half driving time left to try and get as much north as we can. Probably stop around rugby. That time of the day again. Gotta keep myself topped up. Tesco Gold. Finally parked up for the night and Damn, it was close. Three minutes of driving time extended. So I've drove nine hours and 57 minutes. Quite caught any close away. So what I've done instead of going to rugby, because I can't start until around half five in the morning, five o'clock. I've um, I've gone up the M1 instead. And then I've gone up to Donington Services. Got here with three minutes left in driving time. Um, my plan is get up be on the road for about half past five in the morning hopefully this truck in front of me will be gone and it'll be easy to get out because this was a ball late to get in really was tight to get in this space and hopefully i'll miss the traffic of the diversion where the a50 is and go through stoke 
instead of getting stuck in Birmingham at 6 a.m. So hopefully this pays off um, this little bit of a gamble. That's the bed set up for the night. I've got a bunk bed, but it's not as comfy as this bit. That's me for the night. As you can see, there's not much space there whatsoever. We're packed in like sardines. There's a truck there as well. And it was so tight to try and get in because behind me was a truck. So I couldn't get the swing properly. I'm going to leave it there for today. So thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you again tomorrow. The videos will be uploaded at 7 p.m. Monday to Friday when I'm doing them. So if you do enjoy them, there's going to be another one tomorrow. Take care yourself. Bye for now.